I've been a vegetarian for like a little bit over seven years now, and um, I never really liked red meat very much growing up. And then um, Sean became a vegetarian about a year before I did. And I watched the transition, and I saw that he was doing it. It was actually something that you could do while still being on the road, being on tour. And um, one day, I just I had went out to eat with work for like this work lunch thing. And I just felt so, so disgusted afterwards. So that, that was the breaking point. I was like, I'm never going to eat meat again. A phrase that I've heard that I like is thinking globally but acting locally. To do whatever you can. There's always organizations in every single town. At punk rock shows, there's always, you know, PETA table set up, Warp Tour. Whether it's, you know, doing something on the internet too, that's a huge resource that, you know, we didn't necessarily have when we started off as a band. But any little thing you can do to help. In order to help increase the uh, amount of uh, humane actions that are caused on chickens and whatnot, the best thing to do is first off, start off by informing people, like making the information aware, the fact that PETA went in and did an undercover operation and exposed that these things are going on is like a great start. Write letters, protest if you want to protest in front of KFCs or like their corporate headquarters. You know, try to see if you can get stuff on like the nightly news. People love dogs, they love cats. I, I personally kind of see all animals on the same level. I don't know why you would decide a cow doesn't have the same, you know, whether you want to call it soul or life as a dog. I personally couldn't justify eating anything. So we're all kind of on the same level, animals, people. That's what I think. I think that for uh, kids who want to get involved, the most important thing to remember is not to be discouraged. Like, if you feel passionate about something, don't let somebody else making fun of you or somebody else, you know, thinking that what you're doing is dumb inhibit your ability to, like, to inform people. It's all about, like, what you can do with the community around you. And if you can get one or two people convinced that maybe what, the way things are going right now and the way animals are being treated is wrong, you know, that's like a step in the right direction. In Alston, Massachusetts, there's a Thai place called Bow Thai Cafe. It's right across the street from our rehearsal space. And there's a brand new dish. It's on the left-hand side of the menu at the bottom, and it's called Big D and the Spicy Tofu Table. They named it after us because we go in there all the time. <laughs>